and this will be the last time we get something like this, there has to be a modesty, and I've always said this to Seb about it, you can't get grandiose with this job because you're following Beijing and you're actually, get, it's a late call for our nation, I think, because we're learning our new, new place in the world. A hundred years ago, we were everything, you know? And obviously the Industrial Revolution is partly about that. But there's a change. And so there's a, I hope there's an, an innate modesty about it as well. It's not unspectacular and unambitious, quite the reverse. But there's a sense of modesty about it. You have to learn your place in the world, you know? And, and that's a good thing. You know, you have to sit amongst the other people, you know? Mm. The other people of the world. And we're best to express that than, than athletics, than to, as a warm-up for, for athletics. Because these people pop out of nowhere you know, to just jump out of the pit or to kind of like just end up, you know, eight metres in front of people on a short dash. I mean, these people pop out of nowhere. And so it's a wonderful place to find your level like that. So it's very proud, you know, but in a, but in a modest way, actually, I think. Yeah. Beijing is something that, in a way, was great to follow. Because the, I think up to Beijing, you can look back and there's clearly a, an escalation the shows get bigger and bigger and bigger, and you can't get bigger than Beijing, you know? So that, in a way, kind of liberated us. We thought, great, okay, good, we'll try and do something different then, you know? We'll try and do it on a, uh, yeah, we'll try and use our resources in a different way. We don't have as many resources, and that's fine, and that's a good thing, really. And the world has changed as well, certainly in terms of Europe, since, since then, you know, you have to be sensible about that.